Hi everyone. If you've not seen these videos on Grindel 61's channel, the videos regarding what was happening in Santa Clarita, the battle for California, the battle against Jerry Brown making all of California a sanctuary state where illegal immigrants can go, be protected, not only be protected, wow, you get tuition, you get driver's licenses, but how does one man decide for all Californians that this is going to be a haven, a sanctuary for those who come across and come into the country illegally? Well, an awful lot of people showed up, came out, fought, unified. They, they, they unified. Look, they're here. An elderly white woman, a young black woman, they stood together on this issue. And look at how many people showed up. And look, they achieved victory. That's what taking action can do. And my God, it is so inspiring to be around this kind of energy. I just want to say that California, it's an interesting state. It's in the forefront. It leads the way to turning this country into a communist country. California is essentially a communist state. When I was posting videos on the fires in northern and southern California, so many people left comments. I could not believe it. The hatred in people. Good. Hope they burn alive. It, it was really scary and shocking. And yeah, many were Christians. They, they knocked God out of their life. So may they burn in hell. Okay, well, if you have such hatred for particular uh, classes of people, well, that really does need to be faced and somehow healed. But how is it that so many people in the quote-unquote truther community don't see that California, first of all, there's an awful lot of conservatives in California, but California stands, it's like cut from a different cloth in terms of the numbers of activists who act, who take action, who show up. There's no other state that compares with California. And we lose those activists? As far as I'm concerned, game over. But essentially game over anyway. Why? Well, because we can't seem to stand together and unite. And because so many of us are in communities surrounded by people who don't care. This is care. You see how many people are sitting right here. This is care. That's what care does. It compels one to act. And then you have so many people who claim there's nothing we can do. And so many who just sit back. They have their own justification for sitting back and doing nothing, whatever it may be. And what they're telling themselves is a complete lie. You know, this festival in California, this is a subscriber of mine who takes action. And it is inspiring. And I have a lot of respect for her, she, taking action. And this 
man, John Graff, he taking action and showing us that at this festival he bumps into an entire family that is awake, or at least the mother and two sons, awake. And they have this discussion about the geoengineering and the chemtrails, and it's inspiring. So I just wanted to say to all of you who are taking action, I, I get, it's not lost on me, that your action is not just about you, but it's about all of us. And it affects all of us. And so you're not just working for yourself, but you're working for all of us. Your time, your energy, this is not easy. It is not easy to show up in public and you really do have to be prepared for getting degraded by an awful lot of your fellow Americans. But you can't do this unless you really care. So I'm just glad to to know so many of you who do really care, who are compelled to take action. You know, look, care is visible because you demonstrate in your life what you care about through your actions. And so many people, I guess, think about that result of their action and think, well, if I get out there, no, it's not going to work. It's, nothing's going to happen. You know, you've got to let go of the result. You, you take the action, you cause a ripple effect. You cause a ripple effect. You don't know what's going to happen from that ripple effect. But you know exactly what's going to happen if you don't create one. So it is the lack of action that we have going on here in our country that evil is just continuing to swallow people up. But yeah, I was really envious of all of these people taking action and because there were so many they got what they wanted they were able to protect their community it's a continuous fight unfortunately but and it, and it's very hard it's very time consuming and the energy one needs to keep getting up every morning and get out there and do whatever it is that they can do. Yeah. If we had more people doing it, the energy, it wouldn't be so deflating and taxing and it would be so much easier because you can ride on that energy. when you are actively engaged with other people who care. So, lots of respect. I just needed to say that. Yeah. Much respect. And thank you all. Throughout the years, all of you, who have left comments telling me what you're doing that has absolutely helped me to keep going. The links are below.